because what happens is in court, if they've sent you to jail, it's because you were the trustee and you were being ordered to do something for the benefit of somebody else because you cannot be the trustee and the beneficiary. Right. If you're ordered to go to jail, it's because somebody else is getting the benefit. So that's a lie that jail is a benefit. And the wall, no, this here is a big correction. Because they turn it around. Correction, right? There you go. It's they're offering you a service and getting a benefit. Yes, but you're not getting the benefit. Because you, you can't, because the trustees, only the trustees take orders. Prime college. Yeah, I know, eh? <laughs> Yeah, trustees, trustees take orders. We got confirmation of that today in court. It was a very, was a very simple process. Um, trustees take their orders from the executor. And it's for the benefit of the beneficiary. I've said that a few times now, but I'm kind of leading that into somewhere. Isn't that what they do in court? So what happens, um, they don't really switch. You've never corrected what's going on in the court. When you walked in, it was presumed you're the trustee. And when you went to jail, you went to jail as the trustee. And the whole time the judge was acting as the executor, because the executor is the one in power. The executor orders. So who's the beneficiary, the crown? Crown. Of course. Mm -hmm. And because you're the trustee, you can't be either of the other two positions. So here's how it's going. You've got, and I won't call them a judge. I had to correct them today, that justice. court. Yeah. I will call them a justice. And then you've got Dean over here, who shows up unwittingly um, answering to the name of the, uh, of the presumption of law that could be anything that turns out to be him when it's all done, because he consented to everything. He didn't rebut anything. So they fit this guy into the mold of the legal fiction. He tossed the hat on me. He tossed the hat on me, right? Which is the legal fiction that you'll put up here. Which is, well, no. And then over here, you've got the crown. Right. So it's the public. Right. The, the, the justice and the crown are both government. In trust law, that's supposed to be a V, not GAT. <laughs> Let me just rewrite that real quick. They do have GATs. Gov. In trust law, you can be the trustee, sorry, um, my bad. In, in trust law, you can be the executor or administrator. We'll call it both. Executor slash admin. When you walk into a courtroom, who's administrating everything? Who's telling everybody what to do? No, even though people have said, well, the clerk of the court really holds the power. I've heard all these different arguments. It really doesn't matter. The clerk of the court, sure, they file all the paperwork. Ultimately, they're the ones responsible for all this kind of stuff. I, could, I, I mean, I really could care less how the power structure within their system works. I'm going to tell you why things go the way they do in the courtroom, and I've proven this. Because the justice, because it's, they're presuming, they've made the presumption, and they're acting in the, uh, in the, under the presumption that the justice is the executor and the administrator of everything that's going on there. And the crown is coming in as the beneficiary wanting a benefit. The crown is saying, I want something. I want this guy to go to jail and I want to seize all the equity in some, of his, uh, in some of his estate or whatever, right? Whatever you want to call it. Uh, sorry, I wrote benefit, but that's not right. He wants a benefit. Yeah, sure, we'll call it that because he is. Then he is claiming to be the beneficiary. In trust law, you can be both the executor or the administrator, which is the same thing, and the beneficiary. They can be the same party. And that turns out to be the government because you don't rebut it. And you're left all alone over here. And because they're just filling an office and representing the government. You're sitting over here. The only thing left is and I can tell you right now, when the judge orders you to be taken into custody, if you don't go, you're going to be made to go by the sheriffs. And I'll tell you why. Because the trustees, when they're ordered to do something, they frickin' do it. Or you'll be made to do it. Because it's the job of the trustee 
to do, to carry out the instructions of the administrator, the executor, or you are in breach of trust. That's a biggie. And that is, it. That is the, the biggie. <laughs> the biggie. That's what's happening when you go to court. People are making all these arguments. I'm not a person. I'm not this. I'm not that. I, this definition says this and uh, ah, you know, like I've heard it all. I have heard it all. I've even used some of them myself to find myself being hauled away under the orders of this guy right here, right? Even hauled away before they even had that. Yeah, even before that at that times, yeah. yeah. It all depends. And it's all come back to this. And this is the pro and this is what why when you walk in, that's why there is a justice. And there's you and there's a crown. It's a three party system that's going on. It's the Holy Trinity going on in court. They're carrying out trust law in the courtroom and you don't know it. And they're getting you to act as the trustee so that they can fill in both other positions. One of authority and one of beneficiary, which means they win on both counts. Whereas true public servants or public trustees, because that's what they actually are, they're even bonded. And believe me, they don't like being called public trustee. If you want to bring sheriffs into the courtroom, like that, you call a justice, a public trustee. And there'll be four of them in there before you can blink. What if you ask them if he's a public trustee? Um, well, I would start by calling him a public trustee. You've got to remember, if the court operates in presumptions, so can you. then I'm going to operate in presumptions. And I'm presuming that this guy up here is a public trustee because he's a public servant. That is an excellent point. Yes. Absolutely. So, excuse me, public servant. Um, whoa, whoa, sheriffs, sheriffs, get in here. We got word. Ah, right, like that. They they do that. It's in, it's insane. I'm argue in contempt. Yeah, I've seen it. Yeah, you're you're this close to contempt. Or I did, literally, I just actually just got handcuffed the one time. They didn't even say anything. They just handcuffed me, right? So you know you're doing something right when just saying two words make them lose their minds. And why? And this has happened with Marty. Marty walked in to speak for a friend of ours as his representative and said, well, I'm the appointed administrator for Chris. And before Marty could blink, there was four sheriffs in that room. And they had a sniper judge for him because they were expecting him because this is about the sixth hearing we've had. Mm -hmm. And they just kept getting us come back down and railroading us in the whole nine yards, but not getting anywhere. They couldn't get anywhere with us. It was getting frustrating for them. So they brought in this sniper judge. We know her name. We got it today, actually. And uh, we filed complaints uh, for her uttering threats in the courtroom and stuff like that. And uh, Marty's pretty much, it's his mission in life now to take her down and remove her career from her. So we're going to have some fun with that. Yeah, because you got to remember, yeah, exactly. Because you got to remember, there's always recourse. Sorry. Yep. Uh, that's like this most recent thing uh, in uh, newspapers about this uh, judge in Kamloops saying that he's going to treat people that know the law or free men differently. Yep. You know, if he identified himself as Freeman, he would have treated him differently, but because he said that he wasn't aligned with yep. the World Freeman Society or whoever, Freeman Association of Canada or whatever. Yep. So, yeah. I don't mean to. Yeah, no, so, yeah, so either way, but yeah, so the, the explanations to get to this point were fast, and I didn't cover them properly, but the whole point was to get to this because I can just tell you this is, this is the way it is. I'm, I'm not even going to entertain ideas from anybody that it's not the way it is. That's my opinion, but uh, the whole little thing we went to takes you right to this. And now here's the problem when you start to switch up the roles and why they get so mad. And you've got to remember, this is, in, this is trust law. They can't violate this. This is the highest law there is because it's God's law. It's the Holy Ghost. It's the Trinity. Period. They can't get out of this. And the reason they hate this so much, as soon as you walk in, you got this justice, and you got the crown, and you got Dean over here. And now we walk in and we say, well, uh, public trustee on the bench, and let's just for shits and giggles say that they don't absolutely lose their mind and dump a load in the bench and call the sheriffs. And they just go, oh, yeah, yeah, I'm a, I'm a public trustee. Okay, well, we just identified the trustee. Okay. Now, who's the executor and the beneficiary? Nope. You are. You're both. Always. 
Uh, even versus the public? Always. Right. Because of both the justice and the crown and public uh, trustees, then that leaves you as the only one the executor and beneficiary. We were left, man was given dominion over all the earth. We were yeah. left as the beneficiaries and the executors of the last will and testament of God. It's our birthright. Feel free to say that. Excuse me. I don't give a shit what name you're calling me. Ready? Well, no, no, no. Ready? Excuse me for living. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, you're right. I am Dean. And I'm the executor and the beneficiary of the last will and testament of God. Say that. You just say that. Just that straight. You can say that if you want. Just say, I'm I'm the ex put you in front of the mental health court. Security. Yeah, Andrew Swan's new mental health unit. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you, can just say, you can just say, well, excuse me, but uh, are, are you not a public servant? What are they going to say? Well, well, yes, I'm a public servant. Okay, then you're the trustee. Then you're the trustee. And here's why the crown can't be either of the other ones. Because they're both government. You cannot be the trustee and either one of these at the same time. And the government cannot be because they're, they're both government. They're both the same person. They're both agents of the government. They're both this. It doesn't, it, ultimately, they're the same person. Exactly. That's actually very yeah. good. A collection of persons can be a person. Because they're all acting as agents for a person. Yes. Right? Right. Whether or not it's, it's, a, it's, like, an, it's like an anthill. Like, there's all these millions of ants running around, right? But they just form one collective. And the anthill is, is the living person, really. Right? So the government's the person. And as soon as you've identified the trustee, and you know that you're the beneficiary, you know this guy cannot be either. And this guy can't be, so you have to be both. And they have to follow your instructions because you're the administrator and the secretary. Who's that? What is your standing here? Who are you? Get out of here! I'm administrating here. What's your claim? Well, at that point, you don't need to start getting into all the deconstructing their presumptions of law. You've done the big deconstruction. You've established that you're standing. You've removed the justice from their ability to, 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 to administrate the proceeding. Because the trustee is going to allow anything the Crown brings in because now the game's rigged. Because they're acting as both. And that's why you lose every time and you better do what the court order says at the end. And there's obviously ways around that because people skirt around the issues and they little wins here and little wins there and you know stuff like that, like that. The guy in Ontario that went in, that uh, Keith or whatever his name is there, that walked in and yeah, and he did the right thing where he said, where he, I think he said, I'm the administrator of that account. Right? Yeah, and whether or not the judge bowed or whatnot, he didn't really finalize things properly, right? He didn't identify the judge as the trustee. He didn't, or, or even appoint the judge, the trustee, right? So that, that, that's what you want to do is when you walk into court, because it's all operating on presumptions, and they, they've, they've rigged it, and they've named themselves as certain players in the court, and you haven't identified the players. So one of the last times I went in November, I just walked in, and I said, yeah, hi. Uh, I said, I'm, reg I'm here regarding that matter when they called the name. And they said, well, who are, you, who are you? I said, well, I, I was the man that was pulled over that night. I'm like, well, what's your name? I said, well, I said, actually, it really doesn't matter uh, but what names are here. I said, it's really more important what, what roles we're playing, isn't it? <laughs> What's your name? I said, well, I said, uh, I said for, for our purposes today, I said, you can call me beneficiary. Are you a public servant? Uh, I'm, uh, you know, stuttering and then, uh, oh, is, is, this, is this that free man stuff? <laughs> I said, well, I said, it really doesn't matter what it is. I said, are you, are you not a public servant, right? And she just ignored that. And she just went on to say something like, well, if you're, if you're, if you're, not, the, if you're not the name we're calling, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to issue a warrant for, uh, for his arrest. And I wasn't going to get into it really with them. And I just basically said, I said, well, I said, I just told you I was the man that was there arrested that night. And you just told me you're going to issue a warrant for his arrest because he's not here. Thank you for making the judicial determination that I'm not the man you're looking for. Have a good day. Walked out. I'm going to issue a warrant.